Gosport in there, yellow shirts, navy blue shorts, navy blue socks, having a Waterlooville in their change kit. Red shirts and white shorts. So which of these 22 players in the tunnel is going to be the hero this afternoon? Because one of them has to be. They're going to send their team and their fans all the way to Wembley Stadium in a month's time where they will be the underdogs in the final of the FA Trophy but they're not too worried about that just yet. It's really difficult to hope up how important this game is for both teams and let's hope that they, uh, the occasion doesn't get the better of them. It's going to be Sills and Gosney to get us underway then and underway we are here at the GDL Stadium in front of thousands of supporters. For once that's not an exaggeration. Yeah. <laughs> Here's Forbes, good cross into the box for Gosport, flick oh! towards his own goal. <laughs> and I think that one needed saving by Bevan, that would have been an Ed Harris own goal. It is Scott, it's a low one towards a penalty spot, one by Jones in the air for Haven. And here comes the counter attack, two on two. The ball, uh, early ball in towards Chiadini, one on one because the defender slipped. Pope trying to hold him up, Chiadini into the box, right for a shot. And aiming for that top corner and unable to hit the target. And I think the Haven fans in front of us Thought he should have done better there. Here they are on the attack now though. Gosney just tries to loop it towards Seals on the edge of the area. They haven't back four win that one. It will come straight back at. They haven't back four. Gosney wins that flick. Here's Ryan Scott. Seals now. But no, the referee's going to pull it back for a foul on Ryan Scott. Another late challenge by Haven. It's Sam Pierce standing over it. Five man wall for Haven. He's going to power blast this, is he? He tries a low one and hits Ryan on the edge of the wall. Pope smashes it back in towards the crowd of players. And Gosport think it's taken a deflection off of a red shirt. And the referee signals that it did. Wild swings it in right underneath the goalkeeper. Seals! Yes! Oh, it is in! A great yes! header by the Gosport striker. And they have taken the lead just before half time. I'm not sure who was meant to be marking Tim yes. Seals. Quite Come frankly, on. I don't care because he's nodded Gosport into the lead from a set piece. And they're going to go in at half time knowing that if they can just keep a clean sheet, they'll be heading to Wembley Stadium, Jeremy. Yeah, that, that's, that was that again, like the, the goal on Monday, that came from nowhere. Um, and Gosport now have the advantage and they have got a lot of hard work to do now, Joe. A long way to go. Um, but crucially, they have they have drawn first blood. Two one on aggregate. And look at that! Literally right on the stroke of half time, Gosport take the lead. Try and get an update on that other semi final. It was one all. Yeah, here's a long ball towards Seals, and here's a chance. Yeah! And is that in? It's the goal, and Gosport lead by two goals to nil. And uh, there is daylight between the two sides now. Oh a long God. ball. Alex Pike is doing a dance on the pitch. He knows the importance of that goal. It was a Route 1 attack and Seals found himself beyond the Havant defence and just flicked it beyond Bevan and Gosport are in dreamland. It is Gosport Borough 2, Havant and Waterlooville nil. They can get the right sort of ammunition into him and he is lethal with those crosses in the air isn't he? Yes he is and I can't believe what I'm seeing 3-1 on aggregate this is incredible incredible so we just got to hope the gospel stay there and <laughs> oh, and Brett Pope could be in trouble here if the referee's seen that that's going to be a red card he's kicked out of Perry Ryan Pope is protesting his innocence but the referee has brandished the red card and rightly so boos ring around the stadium but that is a stonewall red card. Two goals to nil, Gosport lead. Haven't need two goals. Surely it's not going to happen. Here's Strugnall. They've not given up the reds, to their fairness. Atanjana now, 30 yards or so from goal. Tries a long range shot, it's on target. Bounces up in front of Nathan Ashmore, but he saves it well. 180 minutes against Nuneaton Town. <laughs> They went all the way to North Ferriby, the leaders of the Conference North, and they won. Their local rivals, who absolutely obliterated them on Boxing Day, the favourites to win it. It doesn't matter, because Gosport and Borough are going to Wembley. The referee has blown the full-time whistle, and you know what? They've absolutely deserved it. And Gosport Borough 
our small local team will compete for the FA Trophy next month against Cambridge United in the final at Wembley Stadium.